Hey guys, Tivik here, and welcome to episode 53 of Minecraft Season 3. And there's a hole in my wall. Yes, indeed it is. Why? Well, basically, I set up my blast furni so they can keep running. Let's see. I am going to modify this a little bit as well. Um, but I want them to keep running as long as I have enough charcoal. Hopping down here to show you. I've built this switch transport pipe. Basically, this one, when given a redstone signal, it will switch off. So let me show you. Signal, it's off. Signal, it's on. Which means that the power is cut from these requests, well, these requesters. So, what does that mean? Well, basically, as long as I have over a certain amount of uh, an item, then I can keep that in stock. Well, I'm just rambling here. Let me try that again. Well, looking at these, I set these to stock 16. Fair enough. But with this always connected, even though I now have over 8k charcoal, I will eventually run out. And that's not good. So I wanted a way to turn off the request pipe. This is what this one is for. This is a request a request uh, pipe. A request pipe mark 2 actually. And it's connected to this turtle, which is monitoring the amount of charcoal and if it drops below a certain amount, then it won't cook any of it into uh, into um, it won't cook any of it into uh, steel. You well use it for fuel for steel. However, this I'm going to terminate this program because I want to edit this program. I'm going to add another. I can actually delete this whole function. It's not really necessary. There we go. I want to add. Iron ID charcoal no charcoal iron damage value so what is the value iron it's two sixty five zero two six five zero that means that the Iron identifier equals to ls dot get item id identifier for oh get item identifier id for iron id iron dam and further down in the program where it checks It should check if it has enough. Let's also check. I want the iron to be the priority one. Because basically now it checks in the available items that arrive and see is the identifier of charcoal less than the level that I set, uh, which is a uh, strange number now, it'll be something like 5,000 later, but yeah, uh, it outputs redstone. Um, otherwise, it says it's to false. But um, I think I want to make it so that if any one of them is low, it will set the output. And for that, I think I'm going to make a little bit of a uh, check here. Uh, na hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Let's make a function. Okay. I'm going to write this off camera because programming on camera is boring for you guys and I need to think. So I'll be right back in a few moments. All right, so I did a few changes, so let me just reboot this so I can get the new values in. And 
there we have it. We need at least 3,207. We have three, well, 3,200. We need 207, and we have that, so it's allowed to burn through these. Uh, if it should drop below 3,200 iron, it won't craft any more. Well, it may, won't make any more. I'm going to change this value uh, down to 3,000 so that we have a good supply of steel. Uh, also, keeping our levels of iron fairly high. I'm going to... Come on. I'm going to remember to close up this area as well. Otherwise, I will have spawns back here and that won't be good. There we go. So, how much iron do we have? Oh. I've done a few changes on this program here, and let me just close up the wall there. Um, this energy bar is now fully movable and uh, its own widget. I'm starting with the widget for the new item list, but I haven't added that into the system just yet. But I wanted to show you this. Look at that. We're starting to get a lot of quartz now. Also, the quartz dust. And that's because our quarry... Oh, let me go here. Actually, I have it there. Um, let me get rid of these things because I don't need them. Not that either. Let's go to the quarry. Quarries, I should say. And they are happily steaming along, and as you can see, down here there are some... Some of these. Actually, if I were to get my diamond pickaxe, I should get some more. So I could probably get a little bit more of that, just by going around in this area, and that's a lot of coal. No wonder that I have a lot of that. Hmm... It's not seeing any more of those. Are we seeing anything? Oh, wait, no. That was osmium. Seeing anything here? No, I don't think so. Mm, no. But that's fine. I should be able to start working on an applied energistics network soon. I just need a little bit of more and I need to actually read up on how it works because I'm not really comfortable with how it works. I'm not used to it yet. Are you machines running well? Not too warm. Looking good. Of course it's looking good. And there we go. Um, I am very, very low on apples, which means that our oak sapling amount is going up at an alarming rate. Um, I think maybe I will make one of these two, maybe this one, into one based on an aqueous accumulator so we don't constantly overflow that chest there because it will overflow. Um, I will need two buckets of water for this. Do I have two buckets of water somewhere? Probably not, but do I have water somewhere? I know where. Down here. Also, between this, um, just before this episode, I went through my system and realized that my energy was dropping incredibly low. And I thought, well, the mass fabricator has been doing a lot of work, and uh, that's probably the reason. If you check at the UU Matter, I have 500 of them now. But then I went around the corner and saw an empty tank. I almost died a little bit because that's not good at all. Um, let's see, if I do this, and we can do this, and we can do that, come on, there we go. Um, so I went to the nether, and I found that it is true, I really was out of lava. There is almost no lava left in the area. There is lava left, I shouldn't say that, but it's just very little of it, so it takes a while for the machine to find it. And uh, that time, well, that was way too long for me to wait, so I moved the whole setup. I'll show you that in a bit. 
and there we go. And we have water out of this one. And we can connect that up. So we'll always have at least one of these pumps filling this up with biomass. Although I'm not using lots of fuel. I mean, look at that. It's not barely using anything. And looking at this one here, it's still using... It's still 16 buckets, and it takes forever to use one of these buckets. Which is nice. I have plenty of energy. Um, I do want to set... Uh, I'll probably want to build another one of these. Because applied energistics can be fired up using this system. Uh, using megajoules. But for applied energistics, I need to take a little bit of a check on what I need to start with to make a basic system and we can start experimenting from there. So I am going to read up a little bit and uh, join up with you in a few moments where we will build our first few items and then I'll experiment with you guys. All right, see you in a bit. All right, so... I've uh, read up a bit on uh, on uh, the ME storage uh, system from uh, Applied Energistics, and it looks cool. It works well with our current logistics system, according to everything that I read. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. Um, let's see. What I want to do first is I want to set up an ME controller to make. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. To make an ME controller, we need an advanced processor. Now, these are made using silicon, and silicon you get from smelting quartz dust. Let's uh, get like 20 of that. And we can head up here and do that smelting. And we get some silicon. Also, we're going to need some diamonds and some redstone. That's not a big problem. Let's see. And diamonds. Let's make 10 ish or something. We're going to need more of these. We're also going to need a bunch of gold. Might as well get that. So, using this silicon with this table here, I will have the materials to make both the basic, which requires 60,000, and the advanced, which requires 100,000. So let's start with this one, and it's taking up fairly slowly. So we're also going to need to make... Let's make a single one of those for now. We'll need more, and I will want to make... Mm, Maybe 10 of those. Let's make 16. It should be enough for everything to craft up. And at the moment, I have this set to output into a logistics system. Um, I hope we will have enough energy. If not, I'll have to expand with another boiler. Wow. That would be expensive and everything, but it would be kind of interesting, yeah. What else do we need for this one? Well, we need some quartz crystals and some iron. Let's get that. Let's get a stack of that. We will need more of it. And quartz. Let's get a few of those. There we go. I know that these can be used in the pulverizer to get four dust, which is good because we're going to need a lot of dust later. Um, so they're done with that one, which means that I should be able to get that processor. So an iron housing, quartz crystal, and an advanced processor makes the ME controller, which I will place there. It has energy. It doesn't really use a lot, so I'm fine with that. This is the basic item. We'll also need an ME... Oh, what's it called again? Uh, 
uh, it's the monitor an access terminal I think let's get an access terminal so we need a conversion matrix and some cables cables are made um, with quartz fiber which is glass and dust this is why we need the dust we'll also need oh no glass can be arranged requesting a whole bunch of glass well sand because I wanna fill up the oh didn't realize that I did that that was my bad we have a clogged up system here because I let this run magically on its own. That's not a good plan. Um, I'll do that, that. We'll leave the rest open, I think. Ah. Uh. Just to make sure that we have enough glass, that will be enough for now. Uh, can that fit in there? No. Can that fit in there? No. Ah, oh, hopeless. Okay. So, all this obsidian we could just make into hardened glass. But, oops. Didn't mean to throw that on the ground. That will be enough glass for now. Or was this saying six of these makes one? Let's get two stacks and smelt them up. Like this. That will be much, 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 much faster. And, uh,. One second here while I just check the recording. And uh, I got plenty of time. That's good. So, this quartz can also be macerated up into that. So, let's make a bunch of these cables. That's 16 fibers. Okay. Uh, as I understand it, it's fibers, and that will make cables and we will need the conversion was it that a basic processor some redstone and iron and quartz we'll need to make more of those but I'm not really worried about that right now was it the conversion matrix now uh, let's uh, check no it's not the storage monitor it was the ME access terminal conversion matrix cable and some glass and some yep and that one access terminal Without this, I can't see what's in my system. Does it work? Yep, it says it has one of these connected. That's good. We will need a lot more of these cables. So I might actually just get some more of that. And we'll also get some dust. Thirty should be enough. Actually, let's not craft it up until I actually need it. Um, there is one more thing I need to make, which uh, I will need to make from a few things. I will need two of those. I need some glass. I have that and iron. With that, I can craft a chest. Around that, I will place this and some glass, which makes an ME drive. 
at the moment I will put it there it should power up yep it does now it uses 9 units per tick which is roughly 1 megajoule I have a, p a pretty good megajoule output so I am not worried about that now we need to make a storage and these storage units they're a bit tricky so let's start with the cell that's quartz around a ba basic processor actually can we make the 4k one yes we can let's make three so I'm getting all of these four and we'll start with the storage cell quartz I need one more actually get more of them I'm gonna go for a bigger one as quick as possible because it's uh, it's good to have plenty of storage space is that not the way? oh it's redstone, oh my bad and now I'm totally messing this up there we go, one, two, three of those and uh, placed like so um, with four of those and a basic processor and was it quartz? no? iron? no? what was it again? glass makes a storage segment these storage segments make the storage modules, oh, that's pretty good so let's get some iron was it three iron redstone like so and the glass like so we have our first first storage unit which we will put in the drive and it's lit up saying that I can put in one well I can put in items now I can put in any item I want and we are using up 40 bytes for one stack let's move in some items and we have space left but it's now also using a little bit more so we're gonna craft up a bunch of these we're probably gonna go for the bigger ones once we get materials but I don't have so much quartz yet and I will set automated crafting for these as well got five more of those to make um, I'm probably gonna make more all right so this system is pretty neat as far as I understand if I use one of this interface I can let's make one actually I will make another one of these so a basic processor and that and quartz which I happen to have here now and what else? Glass. No, wait. Iron and redstone. Conversion matrix, one of those. And what did we say again? We need iron in the corners and glass like so, was it? interface now here's the cool thing I am supposed to be able to put a request pipe let's see do I have one no I don't um, I need some gold chipsets I will also need a diamond chipsets I had to think there I wasn't sure 
uh, we're also gonna need some logistic pipes. I'm gonna need another one because we're going to make a provider mark two which needs glowstone and another diamond and we're gonna need some gold ones as well what am I making you might ask well um, if I take this one and turn it into a request pipe and then into one of these mark twos then I can let's uh, move it out I wanna put it there now this one is supposed to be able to import items into this however if I were to do we're also gonna need we're actually not gonna need that extra oh we do we need this one and I can put that in there so it looks a bit neater uh, this one with that makes a provider mark 2 okay if we now were to hook these up wow that hooked up it uses 11 units and we can see everything in the logistic pipe system how awesome is that? What happens if I press uh, Electrum? Um, one. And I can take one out. That is kind of awesome. Which also means that if I were to expand this with an item sync, a polymorphic item sync, no that might be a bad idea um, stored craftable, stored and well only stored, let's get everything out there we go and I will neaten this up I promise uh, I know it looks ugly, we're gonna make a few more cables soon but I was thinking um, if I get a polymorphic item sync and now let's get the processors all eight of them I have that, I will also need a chassis and that one probably don't need a ch chassis mark 2 but you know just to be 100% sure do I have another gold pipe now no ah uh. do be do be do be do there we go and the chassis goes there and the polymorphic goes in the chassis. Okay, what happens now if I put one of these in there and then put these in there? I want to see this chest first of all. There are no... none of these. And uh, ME processors are eight of them. Does that mean that that went into this? Huh. It didn't. That's odd. Where are they then? Let's see. Maybe it's in here. And I'm just blind. Yes, it is. Okay, so I can't use polymorphic item sync to drop into there. What with a normal item sync? 
We can use this with a series of sinks, I suppose, but... Let it request that item. I want to see it come into this one here. It blinked, which means that it is doing something. And they went in, which means they are there. And now if I do processor, it says 8. So if I request 8, there are no longer any items, it doesn't use any storage, and it's using a meager 11, and I have them in there. Very nice. Oh yeah, it does take a little while because it has to go through this part of the sorting area first before it goes zipping along and then into the storage system. Not bad at all. Now with this I can actually replace most of these pipes and ignore these buildcraft ones that are slow and uh, use the ME system for all my base needs but one word of advice with that is um, the fact that it uses up a lot of energy anyhow that's actually gonna be it for this episode I am up to over 30 minutes I can see and uh, I'm going to smelt this up into silicon because we're gonna need a lot of chips and uh, well not all of it I think like so it's a bit sad that it couldn't use the polymorphic but uh, I'm fine with that I can get used to it but anyhow I will see you guys in the next episode I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, I will definitely build some more in the next one. We'll see if we go for the bees or the ME system. Anyhow, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.